In today's video, I'm going to show you the only defense that you need to be successful in Madden 24. This coverage is really good, and I actually I spend I probably spend about 90% of the games that I play in this coverage alone, and it literally wins me Super Bowl after Super Bowl after Super Bowl. I've probably lost maybe two or three games running this defense in the last month. This is a very very good and optimized defense, and it will get you a lot of stops. So, uh, if you guys were in the dollar defense, multiple defensive playbook, and what we're going to do. Is is in your coaching adjustments go ahead and turn auto flip defensive play call off auto alignment we're going to set that to base option defense really don't i don't normally have to set this but if you want to set this you can put this on conservative and then one last point in practice mode the zone coverage is pretty uh, it's preset to match but in game it's preset to default you just want to make sure that this is on default this is just going to make it simpler for you guys it makes it simpler for me and it makes it so that your deep zones won't get burned even though they're misaligned in a baseline defense okay Okay, so with that in mind, I want to talk about audibles and abilities. So what we're going to do for our audibles and abilities, first I want to talk about abilities and how to optimize this. So in Ultimate Team, okay, in Ultimate Team, you want to have Lurk Artist and Tall Slot Corners. So I have Julius Peppers and Randy Moss. They both have Lurk Artist for 0 AP, and they are both over 6'4". That to me is really, really, really important. They will lurk and they will jump stuff that other players won't. You want as tall players as possible in these front four slots, okay? Now, on the back side of this, you want to optimize your abilities. So what I recommend is this Rondé Barber card is super good because he gets deep out zone KO and mid zone KO for a combined total of four AP. That is super big for us defensively. So he's relatively inexpensive. So you can get this card pretty cheap. If you, you could skimp on every position, you just need to make sure that this guy right here has deep out zone KO and if possible, mid zone KO. The same with the other corner. I have Ty Law here and I know you're going to say he gets burned all the time. He actually doesn't um, for me. He doesn't get burned a ton. And this is also why I put Ty Law on the right side of the screen. That's actually really important because if you put Ty Law on the right side of the screen and you're playing bunch or you're playing trips, if you think about it, most of those like deep outside fade routes, they're going to be on the left side of the screen. So that's why I like Ty Law on the right. I, I can count on one hand the amount of times he's been burned. I've been running this defense pretty much nonstop for the last couple of days. And I, I just have gotten so many stops with this. I think it's so good. Okay. And then at this position here, this is your free safety and your depth chart. Antoine Winfield, he's going to have deep end zone KO. Um, this is not as important as the deep out zone KOs. So if you're in regs with the bills, just put two deep out zones here. That's fine. Um, but if you can get a deep end zone KO, it really helps a lot. And then the last ability, again, this one is, is good. It's, it's a great ability. You don't have to have this for this defense to work properly, but it is helpful. And it's Bo Jackson with mid zone KO. All right. If Bo Jackson, if we, if we had to, let's say we couldn't, we didn't want to use this Ty Law card. We could just put deep end zone KO on Bo Jackson and it would be fine. But I really like mid zone. All right. Now, with that being said, audibles, you're going to have DB fire two spinner, Cover two press, free safety zone blitz. These are the audibles that I would recommend for this. And you would think that I would want to come out and cover four drop every single play. And I'm going to talk about why I don't come out in that. And then we're going to talk about what I do come out instead. And it's actually better. All right. So the biggest issue with cover four drop contain, while it's a really good defense, what you basically would do to set this up is you would press, pinch your defensive line, crash down, shade underneath. Okay, the, there's a couple problems with this defense, especially against Bunch. The first problem against Bunch is that I don't want to have to use her this left side guy because we know in dollar that the best A-gap threat is from the left. So I don't want to use her the left side linebacker if I don't have to. If I can help it, I want to be on the right side. But the problem is the best zone on this for defending Bunch verticals is this little shaded down yellow uh, over here on the right-hand side. As you can see, it does a really good job of, of taking away Bunch verticals, right? Okay, so that's kind of problem number one. Problem number two is this. If you if you watch the play art, when I crash down and I blitz my user, this is going to give us really good sheds. But let me show you what happens. If I audible my play, I don't even have to change formations. Sometimes even when I hot route, all of a sudden my D-line goes back and it contains. And if they snap this ball, I really don't get really good sheds, especially from those outside guys. I'm only going to get a shed from the interior D-lineman. So you're not going to get the disengages. You're not going to get the good pass rush that is really, really effective. So that's another reason why I don't like cover four drop. And then the third reason is really what I found out that really makes this, I think, super optimized. So what we're going to do 
is we're instead of coming out in cover four drop, we're going to come out in cover three buzz spy. I think this, I don't know how I overlooked this at first when I was talking about teaching dollar, but this is such a good defense. So all you're going to do, the really cool part is it's pretty much set up for you. It's set up for you to stop any popular formation you're going to face. So the adjustments are very simple. All you're going to do is you're going to press, you're going to pinch your D line. You're going to uh, shade underneath, blitz your user, and then just crash your line down. Now, the cool part is I want you to watch the defensive lineman. Let's say I audible to something. Look at the defensive lineman. They keep their crash. So once you crash them down one time, you don't have to worry about that. Once you blitz your user, you don't have to worry about that. Now, the other thing that I want to talk about is, guess what? This safety, who has mid zone, is coming down into this hook curl. This is one of my favorite adjustments in the game. And what you're going to see is if I run verticals, a lot, I get so many interceptions because that guy will absolutely lurk the seam wheel. So super, super effective. So the cool part is it's a very simple defense to kind of base out of. And if you want to, you can put outside quarters on the outside. And now we basically have cover four. The only difference is, in my opinion, this inside quarter oftentimes in a cover four defense is a wasted player. The way deep end zone works this year is this middle middle third zones in this year's game are pretty good, honestly. So what you're going to see here is I'm just going to kind of dial up a route combo. I just want to kind of show some, some things. So um, let's say that I tried to manipulate this guy here on the right side. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to basically – um, we're basically going to try to throw this, this tight end and I want you to watch how this plays out. So I'm, I'm really trying to stress this middle third defender. Now in practice when it might work honestly a little better in game, but I want you to watch this. So I'm going to really try to stress this because of that hook curl here. I'm able to get it, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, but I'm pro I promise you in game, it does not work. Um, that throw right there is so rarely completed. Okay. Um, so what this does is it just gives us an additional underneath defender and I just think it's a really, really good defense. So guess what we can do then off this? We could do something like um, we could take this linebacker and we could cross man him onto the slot receiver and bunch. Um, you know, we could do a lot of different things because again, what are the best routes in bunts in bunch? Well, verticals, double post, you can kind of use that linebacker as kind of like a, a hot route player that you could do stuff with. As you see right there, he's able to bag the, uh, verticals crosser. So then the cool part is this is also why we put free safety zone blitz in our audibles. When you audible to free safety zone blitz, nobody moves and I'll show you. So your base aligned, watch this. I'm going to audible to free safety. Nobody moves. I'm going to press, I'm going to pinch my D line. And guess what? We're going to have the same adjustments. The only difference now is, is we're going to um, send four. So you see here, we send four. And these two little things together, I think, make a very, very, very good defense. It saves you adjustments. It's super, super good. Now, the other cool part about this, we can send five as well out of the same. Everything looks exactly the same pre-snap, and then we're really taking advantage of these KOs. So what I like to do when I send five, I love to take the safety on the right and shade him underneath in a hard flat. So we're going to play basically double hard flat coverage here, and the beauty of this is, I mean, just most people just don't expect that. So like let's say they go to you know a route combo like this with a running back streak, that little hard flat allows my user to kind of get back into the area. Another really underestimated thing about free safety zone blitz, and this is something I love to do against bunch, is we could basically send if we want to send five right we can just hook curl that safety on the left side and now let's say you know you're running against double post or whatever we're just making them have to throw the ball outside and most people don't want to do that this year so those are some really really good adjustments out of this again if you want just a basic defense that you can play against anybody call this play pinch your defense crash down blitz your user shade outside underneath and you're good to go and this will literally stop the majority of things that you're going to see people run online. And it will you can actually cross-apply this same defensive principle to almost any formation that you face, such as trips tied in, U-trips, everything. This very simple coverage really is optimized. And the cool part is you can very quickly get into DB fire or you can get into cover two press. You can get into all of those things. Um, but... I, I would just, I literally send three until they force me to blitz, honestly. The send three in this game, a lot of people don't realize how good it is. Another little underrated tip that I really like to do is, let's say I want to go to cover two press. I'm going to send some pressure here. But watch this. I'm going to take this linebacker who has lurk artist. I'm going to man him up on the tight end. 
And this little man up right here, a lot of people don't understand how this works, but what you'll see is he'll get underneath that tight end, and then you got that vert hook on top of the tight end. So it takes away a lot of throwing lanes. Another really underrated thing for people who run bunch strong offset is, let me show you this real quick. So a lot of people like to go to this play Durham. So let me show you something kind of neat. So we could do the same basic thing. So what you're going to see is I'm anticipating maybe they're running Durham, right? So we're going to go to cover two press, pinch, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take this D lineman and we're going to man him up on the running back. And I think a lot of people are sleeping on this adjustment because when you pair that with the hook curl defender, let's say, for example, in that cover three buzz spy type of defense, so it looks something like this. You see here, watch how this is going to play. You're going to see that the uh, man up does a really good job of taking the underneath and then they'll throw right into the hook curl over the top and the middle thirds coming over the top. So those are some different things you can do. Another last little tip that I want to give you, a lot of people don't know this. Um, a lot of people don't know this. A lot of really good players don't know this. If you bluff blitz your defensive lineman, if you bluff blitz anyone that is blitzing, they turn into a three rack hook, right? So what you're going to see here is I'm going to bluff blitz the, uh, the defensive end on the right, right? So then what's going to happen is they're going to run Durham which is, again, one of the better plays in the game. Watch what the Bluff Blitz does when he is on the same side as the running back. When he's on the same side as the running back, see how he mans him up pretty well? He actually freezes for some random reason. Um, I think he just got kind of bumped, honestly. Let me try that again. But the cool part, again, is just the fact that you can drop that defensive lineman out in coverage when you're sending your... Um, you know, your send, your send three up the middle, that dropping the D lineman is not going to kill you. Um, so that's just something to kind of think about because you do have a hard flat defender on the right, uh, which is kind of important as well. So anyways, just wanted to kind of give you some tips about, you know, really simple defensive adjustments you can do at a dollar that I think are pretty good. And um, I think you're going to start to get a lot more stops if you start utilizing cover three buzz. Really one of my favorite defenses in the game right now. Thanks for watching the video. To get the entire defensive ebook on this formation, join the Patreon. The link is going to be down in the description below.